hello to all my friends out there. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. It's still cloudy and overcast here. So this is the car lifestyle. So yesterday I was doing the car lifestyle and um, I had a pretty successful meal. It was um, Louisiana hot sauce sardines. It was a large order of fries from McDonald's that I got with my app and it was peanuts and it was really like a pretty good meal. So I went up to Aldi's and uh, I'll show you something. Here is my little, oh, I'm breaking it. Here is my little cooler and I put some food in here for the car. But this is also food for my house. So I was doing this, uh, I was doing this, oops. I, I was up at Aldi's and I thought, wow, look what they have this week on sale for, I bought four, for um, $1.29. So notice they're serving it on rice. So the Louisiana hot sauce um, sardines were $1.00. 12 but this is um seven ounces as opposed to the 3.75 ounces so this is a lot better deal and all these is a pretty good uh way to shop so before i start let me show you something okay i was going to sell this lovely canister for a dollar and about two years ago i bought these three for 9.99 marked down at the thrift store so um so to compare and contrast food and anything else the inflation is brutal so okay and i thought well i'll i'll get myself some uh canned meat and then i'll have some um french fries or something and some nuts which i will buy each week by the pound and so when I did, I noticed that the cheap meat was now $149, and I said, forget it. So I went to uh, Dollar Tree, and at least I got them for, I got four, I got them for $125. And then, I mean, I was searching like mad in the first place when I was uh, trying to find, my idea was try to find some cheap food each day to eat in your car, but that's not a good strategy because the food, like the cans of chicken are $1.49, so that's $1.50. And then I bought four of these. If I was you guys, I would stockpile up some meat. I got these for $1.25, and these are seven ounces. So these are almost a half pound, and I got four of those, and I stuck them in my little cooler. So nothing to stop you from eating one of these cans of meat and making a big pile of french fries at your house. So um, you might be thinking, big deal, uh, 125 as opposed to uh, 150, it's only a quarter. But if, if you buy two, that's 250. If you buy two at, one, let's just say 150, that's $3. So on two items, you're they're helping themselves to a dollar also you're getting uh two items as opposed to three so you go down to four and it's five and it's six at uh, 150 so then put a zero behind that and that is 50 and at 150 that is 60 so that still seems like only 10 percent but follow it through at a hundred and so 50 times two is 100 or 120. So that is a 20% increase. So you might be thinking, well, a 20% increase is not so bad. Actually, it's pretty bad because instead of uh, buying power for $100, you have buying powder power for uh, $80. So say if you have SNAP or EBT, uh, your $80 is 160. Or as opposed to 240 okay so the worst thing about this now is go back when these items were a dollar or less so you have um, say a hundred dollars 
as opposed to now it's 150. So basically your $100 is buying you $50 worth of food. So that is not good, but there's nothing we can do about it. But we can be thinking, boy, I don't want to be caught without meat. And I always think of my grandmother who said, start out by the meat first during the depression. So what I am doing, this is a bag. Now I paid $3 for this. And then I paid $3 for this, but I couldn't sell this for a dollar. But people will pay three dollars. People, there is none. I tried to find them last night at a dollar twenty-five. But I'm looking, and the nuts are getting very small. A pound of nuts is costing the same as a pound of hamburger. I can still find meat for a dollar, um, a dollar a portion. I can find hot dogs, sausages, bologna, salami, chorizo, hamburger, and chicken. So now uh, let's think about, okay, potatoes. Uh, I found these uh, potato chips and, and you got a shot. I found these at grocery outlet for a dollar. So if you don't have fries, you could have some good potato chips. And the fact that I found these for a dollar at grocery outlet, I bought two of them. I should have bought more. And then uh, I bought these chips for a dollar 25 and these would taste good with the, um, with tuna fish or with the sardines so i saw a kid um and he was eating some yellowfin tuna and some kind of uh wheat crackers i go that looks good i go what kind of tuna is that he goes yellowfin you want me to shoplift you or can i go oh no thank you but i thought that was a generous offer okay so now uh for bread, I found these pretzels. Now these are easily $3 if you uh, don't watch what you're doing when you're shopping. So it's $3, $2. So last night I was trying to fix my car dwelling. So I, so it was drizzling. So I thought, oh, I'll park outside and my car will get washed. No, it's, it's not washed, it's worse. Okay, and then the other thing, if you can find, um, if you can find things you eat all the time. So I found um, 48 cent yogurt at Aldi's. So I'll be buying that. And it's pretty good. I can make my own yogurt out of that. Also, uh, this week, yogurt has, I mean, Aldi's has the big boxes of um, strawberries for um, $1.89. That is a good deal. So what I am doing now is I'm, I'm buying a little uh, fresh fruit and freezing it and I'm buying frozen vegetables but generally I buy fresh vegetables marked down so this is the this is the car the car lifestyle I do this every single day I don't um, I don't video it every single day but I do it every single day well now let, yesterday was very successful because I got in my car and I didn't come home till 10 o'clock at night. So all that time, there was no wear and tear on my house, which is what I like because I don't want to damage my house. Your house is the most valuable thing you own. I don't want to damage my car either, but my car is pretty old now, but it only has 80,000 miles. So, and I want to, um, I want to,